In this episode, we're gonna talk about ambient lighting. Ambient lighting is how the space that you're shooting in reacts to the lights that you introduce it. Welcome to Division Media Group, where our visions have no limits. My name is Andy, and today we're gonna to continue our lighting exercise. This is episode two. All right, action. So in this exercise, we wanted to play with that idea that what if there was a scene that the only thing lighting it was the light coming from the outside. At the end of the day, our job is to make the world even more immersive. So what we started doing is we, we saw what the natural light was doing already. And we noticed that there's a lot of street lamps in the outside that were casting beams of lights through bushes and trees and all that. So we wanted to enhance on that. Beyond that, we wanted to see where our subject was gonna be and where he was gonna go. So we created lighting markers. The first lighting marker was in the door. We got our Godox M600D beaming through the window and through some branches to hit the door. And we put that at 52% and it was a daylight fixture. So it was set to 5600 Kelvin. But we noticed that it was spreading way too much. So we wanted to flag some of it. So we simply just got some gaff tape and flagged half of the dome. Now, take into consideration that although it's an LED light, it's still gonna emit some heat. And what we ended up noticing, you know, it was a little funny, but just be cautious about it, that the heat emitting from the COB light was burning the adhesive from the gaff tape. So don't be alarmed, but also don't get too crazy. So just make sure you have adults present. The next point where he was gonna go was the TV console where he was gonna look for the weapon to defend himself. Naturally, we always have some sort of light hitting that area. So we got the Godox VL200 and we set that at 90%. We spotted it through the window to hit the, the TV console. And we liked what it was doing, but we felt like his face, like the information on his face was getting lost. So we wanted to salvage some of that. So what we did, we got some of the bounce board and used the very beam of light that was coming from the VL200 to bounce and to fill his dark side. And for the last marker, since the two lights were as aggressive as they were, it was creating a nice rim kicker around him, which is what we were going for. But his interior ambience was a little on the dark side. So this is where ambient lighting comes in hand. We got our Amaran F21C and we bounced it at the corner of the ceiling on the opposite side of the 180 degree line. And that was at 4%. As you saw, it wraps around and kind of fills in the shadows and gives a little bit more texture, even to the dark sides, it still showcases them. Haze is always nice. And this was a scary type of vibe. So we wanted to create this like eerie, misty vibe. And so we just got our haze machine and let it go for a few minutes and not only did it create texture in the foregrounds and in the atmosphere itself, but since we were working with harsh lights, it created these beautiful beams of light. Although there's room for improvement, I mean, at the end of the day, just like any muscle that you gotta work, it's just trial and error. And we were really happy with how this final product came out. So I think it came out pretty nice. This is essentially how we got from point A to point B. My main advice to you is don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to, to just experiment. Even though if it doesn't come out exactly how you envisioned, it's just what creativity demands. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys took something out of it. Why learn all this if just keep it to ourselves? So I'm here to share this knowledge with you and whatever you guys have to teach back, open ears if you have lighting exercises or reference videos that you want us to recreate let's get it let's do it and let's just be creative and yeah thank you guys for watching make sure to share make sure to subscribe and make sure to be creative and be a visionary 
All right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one.